Hi, good morning. I'm uh, Coach Jonathan of The Academy, no? and I'm invited. I was invited by uh, Brother Homer no? to share with you a specific topic no, na papanahon, mga kaibigan, no? sa ating mga kabataan. Napapanahon at sa ating lahat, no? itong tinatawag nating uh, COVID-19 pandemic, ano ba ang naging impact nito no? sa akin, ya, sa akin no? being a business consultant, Malaki naging impact nito. That's why nagawa ko itong programa na ito. And I just would like to share this with you para at least mabigyan tayo ng tamang mindset at ano yung mga tips na gustong i-share sa inyo ni Coach John para naman uh, we can stay ahead amidst this pandemic. So allow me to share with you itong uh, topic na ang tawag ko ay uh, revitalize. No? Anyone? Anyone? No? Keyword is vital. No? From the root word, Revitalize, the root word is vital. Coach John, ano ba yung pagsinabi mong revitalize? Okay, so mapakita ko sa inyo na when you talk about revitalize no, or being revitalized, ano ba yung gusto nating mangyari? Kasi syempre, sa pandemic na ito, sa panahon na ito, we want to really stay ahead. No? Ano ba yung mga tamang kaisipan na pwedeng mangyari sa atin? Syempre, we have been faced by a lot of adversities. No? Ako, syempre, sa pagninegosyo, no? sa relasyon, sa pamilya. No? I'm a father of three and I have grown up uh, children. Ano? Mga grown ups na sila, 25, no? 19, and uh, 13. So, ang kagandahan nito, sabi ko nga sa inyo, is uh, we are at ground zero, mga kaibigan. Ano, ano ibig sabihin ng ground zero? It's not negative, no? it's neither positive. But ano ang gandahan ng ground zero? Pag sabi mong ground zero, you have a big opportunity to reset Reboot and reprogram your mind. Kaya nga revitalize is about transforming our mindset. And itong ground zero na to, kung titignan nyo yan, di ba? Saan nangyari yan? Nangyari yan sa Amerika, no? 20 years, exactly 20 years ago, na with, we all thought all the while na magkakaroon na ng world war kasi nga parang terrorist attack dito sa Manhattan, ano? sa, sa New York City. At uh, maraming namatay, libo-libo ang namatay, but Just imagine na kung nandun ka yung mga rebels, no? kung nandun ka talaga maisip mo na parang how can I get out of this? Just like what's happening to us right now. How can we really get out no? dito sa COVID-19? We are at war. Mga kaibigan, ano? we are at war and, at, and, and we don't see it. No? So ano mga pwede natin gawin at paghandaan so that you know, we, can, we can strive, no? we can manage these situations and move ahead. Yan. So I was privileged no to be to be coach no and to meet this this great mentor Dr. Paul Stoltz and in his book may sinulat siya yung Sagrit sabi niya rito adversity quotient at work how can we make everyday struggles or challenges as keys no to our success parang ang ganda nito nung naintindihan ko to parang itong mga adversities no AQ ang tawag diyan no not IQ not EQ but AQ is the equalizer If we will learn how to face this AQ head on, di ba? Sabi ko nga sa atin na mga magulang, no? Yung mga anak natin, you know, they change a lot kasi nga syempre yung system nila sa school, you know, the time they wake up, ang dami, ang dami na bago sa sistema, sa mga ginagawa natin araw-araw. And and parang sinasabi niya dito, it's how we face adversity. And how we face adversity is dependent on Knowing what continuum we are, anong level na ba tayo when it comes to adversity, para bang once and for all alamin natin. At yun yung isi-share sa inyo ni Coach John niya, na pag nalaman nyo ito, maintindihan nyo ang sarili nyo at pag naharap nyo to, alam nyo kung saan dalihin. Alam nyo yung ibig sabihin, para bang kumbaga sa boxing. No? We have all been knocked down. Agree kayo doon? Di ba? We have all been knocked down but we haven't been knocked out yet. Yan ang good news. Kumbaga sa boxing ring, boom, tinamaan tayo ng COVID. No no one prepared for this. Knockdown. But we still have 10 counts to stand up and never you know, accepted the defeat yet for as long as we stand up. And for some of us, may you realize nyo, what we thought have killed us or hurt us are the very same things that made us stronger. Yun yung sinasabi niya rito sa AQ. If we only know how to make these everyday challenges no and i i must say iba-iba ng challenges ang tao they are challenged mentally they are challenged emotionally because of what this covid-19 pandemic has brought us they have been challenged spiritually 
they have been challenged uh, financially and and sabihin na natin uh, uh, relationally. No, marami, marami, maraming klaseng challenge. But dito sa sinishare niya, if we only learn how to understand and face ourselves this time, pabaga, one of the key things that we can we can win this war, na yung pag-knockdown sa atin para hindi tayo ma-knockdown, is knowing what hits us. Alam niyo yan mga kabataan, mga kaibigan, no? Knowing what's, what hits us. Kasi itong pandemic, like for instance, in businesses, no? what hits us? Slowing down of our product. What hits us? No? Para bang uh, na- nasira yung proseso natin. Just imagine ngayon, di ba? When you go to malls, tama? No? Meron ng, meron ng alcohol, no? Sasanitize ka, meron kang uh, thermal, no? Na para malaman yung temperatura mo, no? Yung iba nga, minsan, I don't know, na-experience doon, nagkabalibaligtad na yung gwardes, siguro dahil sa pagod, yung pinang, pinang spray sa akin ay uh, yung thermal, no? <laughs> At pang nilagay sa kamay ko na sanitizer is yung term, yung ano, no, narito na siya. Hindi niya na alam kung, you know, imaginein mo, pisikang ka ng sanitizer sa ulo <laughs> kasi kala niya yung thermal, siguro sa pagod na rin. So, these are the changes, no? Yung, could it be, it could be a product or a service or yung proseso or yung tao mismo, umayaw na. Kaya kung titignan nyo dito sa picture na to, itong pinapakita ko sa inyo, you have a choice. No, kung baga, ano yan, uh, below the mountain yan. For some of you who are into hiking or mountaineering, maintindihan nyo yan. You have a choice. Nandiyan ka na sa harapan ng bundok and you have a choice. So, a choice to avoid it. Yan yung unang continuum level na sinasabi niya. A lot of people right now are still avoiding the situation and the issues. This time, face it. No, don't avoid it but face it. At pag naharap mo yun, parang you are one notch higher than the rest. Because I'll tell you, it's been more than a year, right? No, More more than a year that we've been in this kind of pandemic. And and to some, no, ako rin, no, guilty rin ako dyan, minsan hindi ako nakapag-face mask, parang wala pa rin sa system ko. But this time, instead of avoiding it, I have to do it. Kaya ngayon, ayan, nandiyan yung face mask ko, nandiyan yung face shield ko, pagbababa ako, no, may delivery or may lakad and all, bit-bit ko na siya. Part of my lifestyle. But again, no, some of us are still avoiding it. So if you're avoiding it, face it and know that you're avoiding it. That's the first step. Right? Number two. Okay, mabilis lang ito. Number two is coping and survival. Actually, stage two and three and levels two and three yan. Some people right now, they're no longer avoiding it. They're already coping it or coping with it. Ano ibig nun? They just let the day pass by. They're just, they're already coping with it. Others are surviving. Kaya nga, di ba, kanina, kung may kita mo, di ba, nanggaling siya sa baba. Ngayon naman, nag-camp na siya. Pumanik na siya, ready to cope and survive the cold. Di ba? Kasi syempre, as you go up the mountain, no, that, that, that mountain represents adversity, ayan, you can already camp. No? You can already survive. But the choice, again, is yours to make. Why? Why? Coach John, kasi pwede ka pang bumaba. Bumaba, no? From coping and survival, pwede ka ulit mag-avoid. Pwede yun. It's your choice. Right? But again, no? This is already, what? Stage 2 and 3. Nasa next level ka na. So again, think about it. Some of you have already avoided the situation. Some of you, balik trabaho na ulit. Some of you, balik grinding na ulit. But there are times na pipitik pa rin na when will this end? Well, the good news is, it just started. We haven't really felt the impact, no? Kung baga sa, sa impact ng uh, nuclear, eh hindi mo pa talaga na, nakukuha, na, na nararamdaman talaga. But, the key is to battle it. To battle it head on. Yun ang sinasabi ni Dr. Postos. Make the challenge something that will strengthen you. Diba? For us na nagsisurf, no? Ako, nasubukan ko. Dati, natatakot ka sa wave. No, but this time when you get the hang of it, when you are coping with the waves, when you are now surviving the waves, no, then you want bigger waves. You want bigger waves because you are trying to enjoy, you are trying to manage and cope with that. So that's my challenge to you as well, no? Are you coping? Are you surviving? The good news is at least you are not avoiding. And I'm going to give you tips, no, and techniques on how we are going to have this champion mindset and reach our summit, no? ang tawag dyan, mountain top or summit. Iba yan. Iba when you're on top. Iba yung, it's it's not that easy, no? But when you're there, 
as if what? You are managing and thriving. And congratulations to some of us who are already at this level of the continuum of AQ, yung adversity quotient. Kailangan pataasin natin yung AQ. EQ is important, emotional. IQ is important, but this your your IQ, your ability to face the challenges. Why? Kasi, remember, our life has been created by God. Sabi ko nga, one of the things that I learned, no? After being, you know, being married for for 25 years, ayan, and having three wonderful children is life is not made to be problem-free rather than to be problem-proof. Just like any watch. Sabi nila, lahat daw ng, uh, may mga relos daw na hindi nababasa. Kasi yun daw ay waterproof. Wrong. When you talk about waterproof, still, no, mababasa. Ibabad mo kaya if you are wearing a watch na, 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 na sabi sa iyo ay, ay waterproof. Ibabad mo sa tubig, basa pa rin yan. But the, but, but the point is, what's the big difference, uh, the, the differentiator? What's the uniqueness of that waterproof watch? hindi papasukin yung loob. Right? Kasi two watches, eh. isang waterproof, isang hindi. Ilagay mo, ibabad mo sa tubig, basa. Parehas? Yes, basa. Pero anong kakaiba ng isa? Yung isa, hindi na papasukan ng tubig sa loob. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng waterproof. But it's not water-free. Same with our lives. Katulad ng ating mga buhay. I believe God created us to be problem-proof, but not problem free. Kaya nga may mga adversities, eh. Why? Because <clears throat> these adversities, you know, when you put your faith and hope in God, syempre, these are the same things that will make you stronger. So easy to say. Kasi pag nandun ka, nakakatakot talaga. That's why all you have to do is what? Surrender. Yun ang maganda sa Lord, ba? When you surrender, you win. Sa iba kasi, when you surrender, you lost. Again, yes, I've been knocked down, but never I had been knocked out yet because I can manage and drive. So pag-usapan natin, Coach John, ano ba yung mga tips? Eh, mabilis lang ito. Ano ba yung mga tips for us to be champions in this new economy? No, From avoiding, to coping, to coping, to surviving, surviving, to managing, and thriving. Champions awareness, apat lang. First, you have to prepare every single day psychologically. Next, you have to prepare every single day while waiting for that great opportunity ahead of us, physically, then prepare technically, and then we prepare tactically. Tactically, pabalik natin ha, or strategic ka. Siyempre, iba na, nararate na, ano bang strategy ko? Anong gagawin ko? Wala na tayong finances, wala akong trabaho, natanggalan akong trabaho, nagkasakit pa yun. Ang dami mong pwedeng gabihin. Wait! Take two, three steps backward, for you to be tactical, you have to equip yourself technically. There are new skills that we have to equip ourselves with. Basic lang. Until such time we get tools and we master how to get those tools. But of course, for you to be technically equipped and prepared, you have to be physically prepared, my dear friends. And of course, physical always boils down to your mental awareness or toughness to be psychological. So ano mga tips? Quick lang ito. Tips on how to have a champion's awareness to be psychologically prepared. Number one, I will always say this, read books that give you hope. No, pag nakakabasa ka ng libro na hindi ka nagkakaroon ng pag-asa, bitawan mo yan. No? There are good books. No, Maraming books. No, Name your authors. Ako, mga paborito kong author like Joel Austin, ayan, diba? John Maxwell, Jack Canfield. Ayan, meron akong bagong favorite author ngayon. Of course, uh, si Raja Rajamanar. Okay? Si Raja. Meron siyang tinuturo about quantum marketing. Kung baga, hindi na digital marketing. It's all about quantum marketing. Wow, quantum leap. Ang ganda. Yet gives me hope na being a marketing person myself. No? Basa tayo ng mga libro. No? Bible. Yung ibang tinatanong ko, hindi pa nabubuksan yung Bible nila pero ang dami nilang Bible sa bahay. But, ano mga makukuha mo? May children asking me and I'm teaching them. No? Sabi ko nga, ano mga makukuha mo sa Bible, Dad? mga promises ni Lord. Don't you think it's giving you hope? Diba? Sabi nga, yes, we don't know what the future holds, but if you know who holds the future, then remain hopeful and expectant. Yun yun. Yun ang mahalaga sa Bible. Makikilala mo, malalaman mo yung mga pangako. 
at patuloy kang makikilala mo yung nangako. At pag nakilala mo yon, eh talagang sabi nga dun, you just have to rejoice every day for as long as you have faith and believe that it is He who, who made that day. Number two, so basa ng libro. Naku, may kita nyo yung kwarto ni Coach John. Libo-libong mga libro. Nabasa ko na, yes. Nascan ko na, yes. At ngayon, pinipili ko yung magbibigay sa akin ng pag-asa. Number two, listen to people who support you. Kaya huwag nang kumausap. No, to prepare you mentally, bukod sa pagbabasa, huwag nang kumausap ng mga tao hindi naman naniniwala sa iyo. Kasi pag hindi yan naniniwala, hindi ka susuportahan yan. Talk to people who value you. Yung meron kang halaga. Tama? Di ba bakit tayo kausap ng mga tao na hindi naman pinapahalagahan yung sinasabi natin, kinokontra? Di ba? Kasi may mga ngayon, they they will whine. Ano, kokontrahin nila lahat yan. Lalo pa ngayon, syempre, nalalapit na naman yung eleksyon. O, panong baboto? Pray for it. You know, and ask the Lord, whoever He puts, no, we respect, no, kasi siya yung in authority. Number three, of course, as you listen to people, no, nagbabasa ka na ng maayos, na magbibigay siya ng pag-asa, no, you listen to people who support you. Now, number three, manood ng mga mga palabas, no, for me that inspire you. Last night niya, nanood kami. Ang ganda ng mga pinapanood namin, pwedeng cartoons, no, yung home, doon, marami kang mapupulot doon, no. O yung nga naman, yung mga pinapanood namin kasi we, we plan to travel. So kung saan mo gusto mag-travel, sa Japan, Korea, America, Canada, Europe, o oh, panoorin mo yon sa YouTube, di ba yan, gamitin nyo yan. No? And it will, what? Equip you to have a champion psychological awareness. Okay ba yun? So unang-una ha, it all starts and ends with what you think. Sabi niya, kasi what you think, no yung laman ng isip mo mentally, is what will move you forward to act, to make decisions, and of course, to drive results. So champion awareness, number one, be psychologically fit and aware. Ayan, sabi nga, di ba? Champions, ikaw yun, kaibigan. You dig deep. No? Ang mga champion daw sa buhay, they dig deep. Hindi sila mababaw. Lumalalim sila and they will do whatever it takes. No? Of course, morally and ethically speaking, they will do even sacrifice for it, even struggle for it, and suffer for it. <coughs> Kaya ang tanong ko sa iyo, kaibigan, do you sac- have you sacrificed the last months or over a year ng pandemic? If yes, good for you. Number two, have you struggled? Yung gusto mong gawin, pero hindi pwedeng gawin. So struggle yun. Kasi pag ginawa mo hindi dapat gawin, eh hindi struggle yun. Huwag mo sabihin na, uy kapatid, struggle ako eh. Ginawa mo ba? Oo, hindi struggle. Nag-give in ka ron. Ang struggle yung gusto mong gawin, yung hindi dapat gawin, tapos hindi mo ginawa, tapos kinukulit ka sa isip mo. That's why you have to have a strong, you know, psychological state right now. No, ang dami po. Ang dami. Kaya nga sabi ko, ang dami namin nakita, depressed and all. But that's why, no? Kaya nga, tayo everyday, no? Basa, makinig, tapos manood. Sabi nga, kung anong nakikita mo, anong nababasa mo, anong naririnig mo, who you become. And of course, if for the past few months, nag-suffer tayo, good for you. Why? Because you are on your way, No, you are facing your fear, you are facing your adversity head on to achieve your most worthy goals in the best ways. Ano next? Ano next champions awareness after psychological? Of course, physical. Kung pag-prepared ka na mentally, hindi pwedeng gawin mo agad yung gusto mong gawin kasi ano ako eh, Think positive ako eh. Positive thinker ako. No. Positive thinking alone will not help. Yes, it will, but it's just a start. Kako sa iyo, katulad ginagawa ni Coach John, as I prepare myself mentally every single day, boom! Physical kagad. Challenge yourself or equip yourself physically. And the more kang tinatamod, the more kang dapat gawin itong mga physical activities mo. Katulad ng, number one, of course, eating the right food at the right time. Napakahalaga niyan. Kaya nga, Kaya nga minsan inaantok ka, no? wala kang gana. Maybe you are not eating the right food. Or maybe if you're eating the right food, no, you're not eating it at the right time. No? What's the best? What's the best? Coach John, 8 hours a day. no, Open window. Nagising ka ng 10. Kumain ka ng 10. O hanggang 6 p.m. Doon lang, hinto na. Mabubuhay ka na nun. Diba kaya it's a question of do you eat to live or do you live to eat? Diba? The choice is yours. Eating the right food is what I call proper nutrition. Kasi hindi pwede mag-diet. Ano may ibig sabihin ng diet? Diba? You're st- trying to stay away from 
food, ayun, pataba and all. No, it's not that. Sometimes, may makikita ka mataba, pero physically healthy. Pag nagpa-check ng blood chem and all. Pero minsan naman payat, pero high blood. What's the point? Eat the right food at the right time. That's how you prepare yourself physically. Number two, syempre, ito, napakaganda nito, 15 to 30 minutes a day walk. Walk lang, ha? Walk lang muna. Oo, walang pwersahan. Walk lang. 15 to 30 minutes kami ng wife ko, 30 minutes kanina, a day. Minsan, pag mabilisan, 15 lang, pero mamaya ulit, 15. Kung gusto nyo, 30 a day, 30. Huwag mong susobrahan. Lalo na pag maaraw. No? Iba na yung dating nung datingan nung araw ngayon. Baka masunog ang ating mga balat. Number three, of course, I call it the good news. Yan, to prepare yourself physically, mga kaibigan, there's always a good news. Ano ang good news? Nutrition, exercise, water, sleep. Yan, one of my doctor friends will always tell me, proper nutrition, kapatid, wag diet, kasi you will diet. Oo, di ba, magagalit ang katawan mo. Kailangan pakainin mo ng tama at sa oras na kailangan kumain. Nutrition is the key. Exercise, yan. So walking is one of the best forms of exercise. Pero if you can lift weights, if you can jog, jumping rope. When I talk about exercise, I talk about cardio. Yan, para wag bumara yung mga kolesterol Ayan, sa ating mga katawan. At syempre, more water. 1.5 liters. Ako may style ako eh. Meron akong baso na or, or jug na 500 uh, ml, milliliters. 500 ml, between 8 to 12, dapat ubos. Then, re-refill mo ulit. Then, dapat between 12 to 5, ubos. Then, 5 hanggang sa matulog ka na ubos. So, yun siya. Huwag mo naman lagukin at tunggain 1.5 liters. Masama rin yung sobrang tubig. Oo, malulunod. Malulunod ka kapag gano'n. So, again, not only you prepare yourself mentally, but physically, if you want to stay ahead in this great challenge, sabi ko nga sa inyo, extraordinary people are extraordinary people. Seriously, they're just ordinary facing extraordinary things. So if you're facing a Goliath, kumbaga, there's a David in you. O, oh, di ba? <laughs> Ang gandang-gandang sinasabi. Naalala ko lang kasi yung The Ghoul, eh. Sabi niya, The Ghoul. O, oh, tapos pinakita din yung t-shirt ni The Ghoul. <laughs> no, it's a David in us that will kill the, the Goliath that you are facing right now. And lastly, of course, ayan, ano yung pinakahuli? Technical. Okay, technical. If you prepare yourselves technically, no, ano na to? Ito yung mga skills na kailangan. Ano lang ba, no? I, I had the privilege, no, to speak to to one of our mentors from the California State University and he mentioned to me, Jonathan, three technical skills that you need to have in this new economy. Number one, digital skills. Yan, total kayo naman magaling sa digital and all, you know, aralin niyo pa and use it to your advantage. Okay, number two, entrepreneurial skills. Kung baga, syempre, in these times ahead, kung baga, kailangan talagang we learn how to make money and better if we make, if we learn how money makes money. At best, if we teach others how to make money and educate others how their money will make money for them. So ito yung, ito yung mga skills, no? Digital skills, entrepreneurial skills. At since ito maganda, ito yung gusto ko encourage Yes, we are in the Philippines. Yes, we are Filipinos. But if there's one thing COVID has brought us, my dear friends, COVID made us global. So ikaw ay global brand. You are a champion global brand, kapatid. Ha? Tandaan mo yan. Kung maka nasa Pilipinas ka lang, Filipino ka, but you are at par. Trust me. No? Alam din ni Sir Homer yan. No? You are at par with the global what economy. Kaya napakalagang skill is your global management competence. Ayan, you are a global citizen. Okay, tandaan mo yan. Global citizen ka. Okay, just so happen, you are in a third world country, but you are of global citizenship. So as I end it, as, as, as I end this, this is my question to you right now. What time is it? Anong oras na ba? Ikaw na nakikinig ngayon, no? Live, or mano, mapanood mo man to ng replay, isa pa rin ang tanong sa inyo ni Coach John. Anong oras na ba? For me, it is time. It is time. Life is so short, right? Huwag mong isipin dahil bata ka pa, you have all the time. At huwag mong isipin dahil matanda ka na, you have little time. Hindi po. Pare-parehas, 24 oras sa isang araw. But it's being aware of what time is it. Because I know, champion always think like this. For them, it is time. 
it is time to move. No, na knockdown, up, move up. Di ba? Kung feeling mo, listen, kung feeling mo ikaw ay nasa rock bottom, congratulations. Because at one point, when I was there, no, I asked the Lord, Lord, rock bottom na ako. Talagang sagad na, sagad na, sagad na. Okay? Sabi sa akin ng Lord, good news. Kasi sagad na, sagad ka na. There's no way to go, but up. Tama? Kung pakiramdam mo, walang, walang, wala ka, matagal na. Hindi lang ngayon yan. Kung feeling mo rin ay marami ka ngayon, akala mo lang, wala. We are nothing. We have nothing. Sabi nga, di ba? We came here, nothing. We will leave this, nothing. So don't ever think na meron ka. Use it for good. If there's a way to do good for others, use it. So what time is it? It is time. It is time to move. Remember, walang mawawala sa taong walang wala. So kung walang walang wala ka, good for you. Wala nang mawawala. And the only way to go is to go up. It is time to move. It is time to expect. Okay, huwag niyo tatanggalin yan sa spirit natin. Always expect for good things to happen. Always expect that along the way, this challenge, no, in just, no, sa ganun lang yan, sudden, sabi nga, I, I, I read a book na sinabi doon, our God is a God of suddenly. No? Suddenly, di ba, para bang gutom na gutom ka din, suddenly, someone gave food. Kailangan mo na magbayad kasi pinapaalis ka ng sabay doon. Suddenly, then suddenly, suddenly, yan ang gusto gusto ko yan. Suddenly. Di ba, e tayo pa, we serve an amazing God. We know, no, we just don't know Jesus or, or God, but we know who He is in our lives. And what time is it? It is time to know that you, you are a champion. So as I end this, amidst this pandemic, your decision, it's still your decision, kapatid, to move forward. And moving forward is a choice. And everything, as in everything, will be triggered where you set your mind. Kaya ngayon nga, di ba? Anong iniisip mo? Di ba? Whatever you think today, you will draw. It comes within your thoughts. Do you want to avoid things? When you avoid things, it will just come again and again and again. Di ba? Kung baga nung nage-exam tayo, pagka hindi mo pinasa ang grade 5, hindi ka alis sa grade 5, hindi ka magiging grade 6. Pag hindi mo pinasa yung first year, second year, third year, fourth year, hindi ka magiging college. No? I hope if you are avoiding things, face it and start coping. If you are coping, face it, start surviving. If you're surviving, face it. Start managing. And if you're managing, face it, start thriving. The choice is yours to make. Choose to be a champion. As I end this, I'd like to tell this short story with you. No? One time, when I was praying, sabi ko, Lord, sa akin dami kong gustong gawin. No? Coach John is already 48, no? and I'm pursuing. No? Years ago, years ago, more than a decade ago, I was privileged to get an executive MBA education in one of the prestigious universities in the Philippines. Wala pang COVID, no? nagtuturo ako ron, no? nagkaroon na ng COVID, ayan na, hindi na ako makapagturo, wala lang face-to-face, and I I want to transition myself. No? Until such time, sabi ko, can I still take my PhD? I'm 48 and I hope and pray in the next two years, gift ko sa sarili ko is to have that PhD. Why am I taking PhD? What's the opportunity ahead? I don't know. But I'm just preparing myself. Champions awareness is preparing myself mentally, physically, technically, so I'll be strategic. Who knows? In the next two years, no? Baka, you know, there will be an opportunity to go back sa akad- academe, at least may PhD ka, you can be a dean of a school, di ba? Parang gano, or you, even a president of university. Or, if I get out of the country, I don't know, my PhD at least as an MBA equivalent, and at least there are a lot of opportunities. But, will I know it now? I don't know. Just like how the Lord revealed this automatic door for me. And what's an automatic door? It will just open once it detects you're there. Kaya nga, it's time to move, my dear friends. As you face this AQ, it's just part of it. Kasi after nyan, there's next. After one problem, there will be another problem. Remember, lives are made, our lives are made not to be problem-free, but problem-proof. Next, 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 until you reach your automatic door. And what's with the automatic door? Once it detects you, it opens, just like an opportunity. I hope and pray you'll have that kind of mindset. As whatever, whatever, oppor- whatever challenges you face now, it's like an automatic door. The challenge is not a challenge. Change your mindset. Have the champion mindset. The challenge is an opportunity. And once you're there, it detects you, it just opens. And who knows? 
behind that door, di ba, is the opportunity you've long been waiting for. Huwag kang hihinto. Don't avoid it. Don't just cope. Don't just survive. Manage the situation. Manage this COVID-19 pandemic. And I'll tell you, behind this, there are opportunities ahead. As I end this, you know, I'm always inspired by these four things that God wants me to remember when life is hard. I remember that it's all about my character. Remember that your character should always be stronger than your circumstances. God is after your character. Neither your circumstances. Hindi, never siya magiging after sa circumstances mo. Kaya nga, the very same circumstance that made you feel weak, sooner or later will made you stronger. Diba? Kaya nga may vaccine. Nilalagyan tayo ng virus and it weakens us. Diba kalokohan? Parang ba't ako magpapakahina? No. It's just preparing you that when the right you know, challenge, virus comes into your body, immune ka na. You get it? Number two, remember that your struggles always lead to strength. People who struggles, as I was telling you, are people who are strong. Tama? Kung mga pag nalunod ka, di ba pag nalunod ka, hindi ka naman nagpakalunod dahil hindi ka naman nagstruggle. Pag mukha ka nalunod, you keep on doing that because you want to breathe, you are struggling, and you are strong. So are you struggling now? Congratulations, you are strong. Number three, remember that God's timing no, it's always perfect. Never early, never late. That's why today, no, ano mang hinaharap mo, read the word, promises ni Lord. Lord, sabi mo, this is the day that I will rejoice because ginawa mo to. Then do it. Rejoice. Do things that will make you happy. Number four, remember that God will never leave your side. Yun naman ang masarap. Diba? Hindi ka iiwanan. Kung sa tingin mo nalulunod ka, hindi, na dumadaan ka sa ilog, hindi ka malulunod. Kung sa tingin mo dumadaan ka sa napakainit, Parang sa Canada ngayon, napakainit, hindi ka masusunod. He will never leave you because He loves you so much. So build bridges, break barriers, and of course, let's commit. No, As we as we step on this adversity, as we face this head on, no, build bridges. Sa pagtapak mo, no, bridge, the Lord will give you those bridges. Sa pagtapak mo, if there are barriers that you have to break, break it. Hindi baligtad. Don't build barriers and break bridges. Build bridges and break barriers. And of course, commit to the Lord. Whatever you do in all your plans will succeed. We know this as basi as it is. We don't plan to fail. Right? But we just failed to include God in our plans. If I may repeat that. We don't plan to fail, pero ang daming failures. Ay, katulad dito, hindi natin na paghandaan. We don't plan for this, but we just fail to include God in our plans. Because when you do, I believe, no, God will give you the grace and the strength. So, revitalize, my dear friends. No, The key word is vital. Parang vital organs. No, You have to step, take steps, uh, two steps back, backward. Muna, tingnan mo, yung sarili mo. Reset, reboot, and reprogram yourself. And this is my life verse. Psalm 37 verse 4. Delight yourself in me, sabi ng Lord, diba? And I will give you the desires of your heart. You know why? You know why? My great revelation here is, I don't delight because ibibigay ni Lord. Eh. Para bang future pa? No. Binigay na yun. Anong binigay? Yung delight and the desire. Ano yun? The delight, one thing I learned, no? The delight and the desire also came from Him. Alam niyo yung ganun? Yung, yung pag na gusto ka na, gusto ko pong pumunta sa lugar na ito, yung pag-desire mo na yon, yung pag gusto mo, siya rin ang nagbigay. So delight. Lord, gusto ko ng ganitong bahay. Lord, gusto ko ng matapos to. The minute you think about it, God has blessed you with that desire. So what do you need to do? Just delight yourself in the Lord. Because in His perfect time, He will give you the desires of your Heart. So kapatid, maraming maraming salamat Sir Homer, maraming maraming salamat sa iyo at sa lahat ng nakikinig ngayon. It's time. Revitalize yourself, delight yourself in the Lord, be revived, be rekindled, sabi ko nga. And I know, as we declare this, greater things are ahead of us. God bless you and see you in class.